Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're at this property, we actually did some wiring for the um, spotlights. Uh, we were here about a week ago and we're just waiting for the password to finish off. They've actually finished off but they've made a big mess. Uh, this is the lights I've just put in. Um, the spotlights, I've connected them up and actually put these lights in. And also, as you can see from my last video, um, I did a radial here. This was for the um, TV and they wanted another one on the, uh, down below as well. But this is um, actually feeding from a socket that was here. And there was loads of wires hanging from this corner which I had to tidy up and take a feed from there. But the plaster came, put a plaster board and blocked off um, the socket. Uh, which made my life a lot harder now. I'll have to um, break this and try and find uh, the socket or the feed um, and connect it up. Also this ceiling here, they've actually managed to plaster the ceiling. I'm just gonna put the lights in now. Um, so I've got the fire rated lights, uh, GU10 LED bulb uh, lights, chrome one. Uh, so I'm going to fit them in. Also what the um, plaster done, or the builders done, they've actually cut the door out here and left all the wires exposed, which wasn't there before. So I don't know what I'm going to do here because the door frame's going here now. Uh, I'm just going to have to tidy it or find a way of doing this. They've just left it hanging. It's actually... Um, I think in the past they had to extend it and what they've done is um, taped it up, put a connection and taped it up and then oh, this is mad um, you got a double socket back box with a single socket <laughs> it's crazy the way this is done um, but anyway it actually comes from um, under the floor comes up and goes that way also there's a two um, switches here two gang switch and if you can see the wire goes in there and comes down here so that needs to be removed as well and um the thing with that socket was for the this is the kitchen it's in a very bad state and i think they've had um, the builders actually done the wiring in the kitchen that's a builder's job no protection on the cable there's a cable exposed on that side this is a switch I don't know how this is gonna work they've made a big mess of um, a simple thing so I'm just gonna get cracking and get the lights uh, back in and put the power up apparently what's happening with the power now as soon as you um, turn it on, the, um, the switch on the consumer unit for the lights, it actually, the alarms goes off and the owner doesn't have a code for it. Um, so they've left it off. I'll have to um, disconnect it uh, so that I can have the lights back on. The minute you put it on the alarm screams and it's impossible to reset it because no one knows the code. It's actually plastered in and it, what they've done is they put a uh, plasterboard uh, and I think they've battened it out as well. So it's quite deep inside. I'm just going to have to keep breaking till I find it because that's where the connection is going. Yep, this is what it is. So um, I'm gonna connect them up and hopefully I'll have this one and that one 
working. So he, he's the plasterer who came and I don't know what he's done. Um, normally there's a socket there, why would you plaster over that? And if you did so, why, you know, oh, it's just madness. This is the uh, light I've just bought from um, Screwfix. Uh, it's IP65, it's also a fire rated one as well, it's a lab brand. Uh, fire rated up to three hours. Um, these are the lights, it's cool white. Uh, it's built in, um, light built in. We're gonna have to change the um, light again. It's quite easy, it's a push fit, it's very quick to do. And it's also got two terminals there, so it's like we um, it actually can loop it over. It's quite good. So, so far I've managed to do um, six lights. Six lights, I've just got to do another four more on this side. Um, connect them up and then I've got some on the hallway as well. But the hallway is a big mess. So all this stuff that they've uh, left. This is the hallway, and these are the lights. So it's gonna take me a while getting rid of all this, so I can climb up and get these lights in. Yeah, they've made a big mess of it. Um, so, what's happening here with the consumer unit is this is the alarm system and there's no code for it there's a code it's a it's actually there but it doesn't work for some reason i tried to reset it even the owner tried it everybody tried it but it's impossible to reset so i'm just going to disconnect it but it actually runs off the um the lights uh on that side I'll have to uh, come back and do a changeover on the consumer unit. Uh, the owner actually said he wants uh, that changed. So I'll have to do a bit of testing on that before I actually do this, but that's another day job. Just an update guys. Uh, managed to finish the uh, spotlights and also the sockets as well. So these are the six spotlights I put in. They're all working fine. Uh, this is the double socket on the wall um, and there's another one there they're all working now this is where I had to break the plaster board to put the connections in so the plaster will have to come and sort this out tomorrow also this side here it's all complete now I'll have to come back tomorrow probably to sort this um, wiring out but depending what they do with this wall here so I'm just gonna have to sort that out also the um the, the hallway the lights are all complete yeah, so i had a bit of issue with the um consumer unit um fuse up the alarm used to just go off but i've disconnected that now it's just um just isolated the wire so it's all working now so i managed to get the fly without the alarm going off so it's all done thank you guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe thank you